I grew up in uh, Omaha and uh, Wahoo and Humboldt, the eastern Nebraska, Norfolk, Fremont, those areas too. And it's tough. They had a lot more snow than we did. Mm -hmm. They got warm like we did, plus the rain on top of it. So all that melted and fell at the same time. And that's why they've had the problem there. So going to be tough out there for a while. Around here, some little showers are coming our way. So that's better news for us. 43 outside, peak of sunshine. As a matter of fact, this is a live shot looking down the river. I saw a little rainbow on the river earlier. It was a little stellar ray poking through the cloud there and producing a little uh, diffraction, refraction of the clouds. It was kind of neat, but it's gone now. You can see some brighter spots there where the sun's trying to get through. It's 43. It feels like 40. There's a touch of a breeze out there. Most spots are in the low 40s right now, although Harrison Township at 38. It's 41 in Richmond, 41 in Rochester and Auburn Hills, and 41 in Whitmore Lake as well. Carlton uh, to the south, a little bit warmer at 42. So it's not bad out there. It's not where we should be, but it's not bad. Some 30s popping up. Mount Clemens and Flint in the upper 30s. Same thing in Port Huron at 39. So it's not bad without a ton of wind out there. A couple of little showers are trying to kind of pop up here and move by. This is really popping up on top of us and moving away from us, which is kind of nice. Looking upstream, there were a couple of sprinkles earlier uh, west of Flint, north of uh, Howell, but those are kind of fizzling too. So we've got pretty dry air in place now at the surface. So anything that falls out of the clouds will probably get soaked up. This will be a sprinkle or a flurry at the best and that's not a big deal. You could see some of that pop it up at the radar here in the Saginaw Valley. So it's sliding northwest to southeast. That's not a warm flow. All right, so we should be a little warmer. We'll get a little warmer tomorrow. Here's a peek of what's going on now. The last opportunity, I think around 11 o'clock to midnight for a little something, something to fall to the sky. But again, it's uh, next to nothing and then we're good for the rest of the night. Here's tomorrow. A couple of clouds, but more sun than anything tomorrow. It's a nice day. It will get warmer than it was today and it looks like we're OK on Wednesday to start. But as we get later into the afternoon, this is springtime at 558 on Wednesday. Here's 230 in the afternoon. Rain chances in here and I just wanted to show you that at the end of the day here or actually in the night. See how it's trying to change pink east of us. There could be actually a couple of snowflakes here late Wednesday evening or into the midnight hour here for us, but it's not going to stick to anything. So we're in pretty good shape. The rain potential for Wednesday. Look at this is four o'clock in the afternoon. We've got nothing at that point. We'll let it run to midnight, maybe a few hundredths or a tenth or two. Uh, that's not a big deal in terms of the amount. So 40 or so this evening passing shower chance would be super, super light 27 tonight. It dries out as we go along 47 tomorrow. Lots of sunshine in the first spring weekend. Dry, bright and 50s. Nice. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs>